crawfish usually arrive off Virginia Beach April 11th, give or take a few days. We have spring bluefish, which are long and lean, and after a whole summer of gorging themselves, we have winter bluefish that are long and fat. And today, we're going to show you both varieties. Join us first with Captain David Wright on the king of the Virginia Beach charter boat fleet, the High Hopes. Captain David's mate, Johnny Savage, is preparing a delicious meal of ballyhoo for both bluefish and yellowfin tuna. Now, watching an expert rig baits makes the run offshore pass quickly. When fishing for bluefish, Captain David says you can never have too many baits already. Johnny's rigging baits under the watchful eye of his dad, Austin Savage. And they're all ready now. Now, once Johnny fills the bait box with fully rigged valley, he makes up a few additional sea witches. That is, they're lures, so that they just have to add the ballyhoo and they'll quickly be available. Those hooks can never be too sharp. The rods are rigged and ready. Now soon these rods will be spaced out to form a spread of trolling baits. And once the boat slows, we just drop the baits in the water and start catching. Now Austin inspects Johnny's handiwork approvingly. Now the High Hopes is a 58-foot Carolina classic sport fishing boat, which is Coast Guard licensed to carry up to 18 passengers in comfort. The heating and air conditioning lets you enjoy the water year-round. Soon, we're going to be fishing. Once the engines slow down, Johnny begins to set out the baits. Now, these are Pan International 50s, which now have all been replaced with Shimano two-speed 50s, which allow even the most junior angler to reel in plenty of big fish. first catch is here. Unfortunately, it's a horse-eyed jack, which is about as welcome as a stalk of bananas on a sport fishing boat. Now, I'm keeping watch on the spread while Johnny changes baits. Now, Johnny's getting in shape for our annual Flying Elbows, one day, one boat, billfish tournament. Whoever gets to the rod first gets to fight the fish. Next, we're going to put out a different tuna rig really is a school of bait fish rigged with a hook and only one bait, or this can simply be a teaser with no hooks. In any event, Austin's going to fight this first hookup. And Austin and I are going to take turns trying to keep Johnny really busy. Now, when you're trolling out in the ocean, you may be fishing for a specific fish or a specific species, but you never know what you've hooked up until you see it. Remember, even that horse-eyed jack was fun to reel in. And this time, this time, we have a yellowfin tuna. Johnny looks pretty proud of his dad. Yeah, Johnny, you gotta put some 
This time it's a springtime bluefish, which is 35 to 37 inches long, but very thin. And they range from about 12 to 14 pounds. Bluefish come in a lot easier than tuna. And once you're in a school, you can catch your 10 fish per angler limit fairly quickly. But you always gotta remember, you don't have to keep 10 fish. Never take home more than you can really use fresh. Ooh, that's a beautiful bluefish. Once we've caught enough bluefish to smoke, we start releasing them. And sand eels are what's holding all of these bluefish here. The primary bait that we've had out here lately, uh, actually this bait is stretched all up and down the line. And uh, you know, for our, the farthest points that we fish south all the way up to this part, which is the northern end of our area that we fish, this bait is thick. And uh, that's what it's really holding a lot of fish in this area. Today, we're proud to have with us the fellows from Benjamin Moore Paint Company and Hometown Heroes. And local Hometown Heroes, already with the first fish on here. We don't even have all the lines in the water yet. We got him on. Show me the fish, baby. Show, okay. Show me the way, baby. Today, Captain David is using a planer and a spoon rig in addition to his surgical tube eels. While our mate today, Wes Lane, leaders this bluefish up to the boat, check the length of the leader Captain Dave uses. It's about 50 feet.
Look up. <laughs> Look up. Look up. <laughs> he was just waiting for you to set it down, man. That's all. Snipers, man. They're snipers. And you got him, too. Uh-uh. Look at that. After watching these fish for over 30 years, I still enjoy fish watching. So look at that blue fish. All right. Okay, the guy's in the charter now. Come out here fishing, they're gonna start gaffing their own fish. It's a hot little bluefish there. Fishing doesn't stop after Thanksgiving. It's simply a shorter trip to begin catching.
Every one of those are 20 pounds. You're doing good, buddy. I want one. Christopher, run. <laughs> run, do not walk. Back to the camp. Yes, 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 yes. Check this out, bro. First, it's hard to get a word in when Captain Bill gets excited. And second, I can hardly ever get him back up on the bridge to run the boat. what to do. If the mate and the captain don't tell you what to do, get another boat next time. You just watch the charter party gaffing their own fish on the high hopes. Reel it up one more time, he's right there. Give up.
talk about winter bluefish, that's a winter bluefish. See, Chris, aren't you glad we didn't tell you all to do all those things at once the first time? Yeah, see, just a little bit at a time. That's how you learn. There he is. Now, one more time, up in the air with the rod. Over in front of him. Don't come behind him. Sometimes we have to remind is, Bruce that right fish there. usually swim forward, not backward, so net them head first. Higher up this time, you got it. There he is, okay, don't fight the dead, here he goes. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the rest of Christmas caught as many as he did. Back at Dockside, right we have to try to figure out which bluefish to weigh. Well, worst problems to have. That one, yeah, and that one right there. I think so. This one here. Yeah, and that one right there. This one here is pretty special. That one. That's a sight. That's a citation. That's right the big there. boy right there. Yeah, that's the one that Chris caught. <laughs> I'm sure that's one he caught. That's I don't. I don't know, man. That one. That the one that's at the bottom is terrible large too. This one's just not as heavy. No, he's not as long. You got three in yes. there. Okay. That one's got the length, but it doesn't have the gut that right. those got. Look compare. at the look at the shoulders on these bluefish. My God. We hope yeah. you enjoyed the quickest half hour on TV.